Welcome to It's Alive Hobbies. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Arduino against the Raspberry Pi 3 against the Odroid XU4. You've got the Arduino Uno, which is real popular. That's one of my favorites. Really small, compact, can do a lot of stuff. This is uh, uh, your Mega series, the Mega 2560s. Um, if you need some serious power, this is, this is what you're going to want to get. Uh, obviously way more pins to use than the Uno. So this is a XB Pro Bluetooth. You still need the Bluetooth part here, but I mean, it, it's really as simple as plugging in these pins and then you have Bluetooth added to your to your setup and then you can pop that off and you can put a motor shield driver on here which will allow you to run stepper motors and DC motors um, right here is my RC car project with an Arduino Uno and a motor driver shield on there and a Bluetooth chip up here This is a RAMS board for 3D printers and CNC machines. Um, they are designed to go with the Mega. So you just clip that on. Sometimes they're tricky and you get bent pins, which is a problem, but boom, just like that, this thing can drive a 3D printer. The Raspberry Pis are popular because they can actually run an operating system, whereas the Arduinos can't. Um, what you do is you basically load your operating system onto an SD card, pop your SD card in, and you're ready to go. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero, a smaller board version of it. You need an HDMI adapter, first of all, just to plug that in, and then your HDMI cord. So obviously you've already reduced some of the smallness of it and then you need to add USB ports if you want to attach any kind of USB attachments onto these whereas your Raspberry Pi 3 has four built-in USB ports for example you can just plug Wi-Fi in really easy and get Wi-Fi even though the Pi 3 has it built in the Pi 0 doesn't which is why you need a hub just to plug in your Wi-Fi now you've got all this you know? Other than that, the Pi Zero runs pretty good for how small it is. Runs all the same operating systems, runs just as good. So if you really are looking for something more compact, this might be an option for you. Because you can always fold this under here, do something to keep it real small. And the Pi 3 is already small enough as it is, so you're already saving a ton of space as opposed to your big old computer over here. We have Raspbian on here, preloaded already. So as you can see, it's running a full operating system. We've got programming, program things. We've got Python, which allows you to program Python scripts that can run off of your pins back here. Is this five inch screen. Um, it just clips right into your pins right there. And then it lines up. I hope I'm not quite lined up. So this screen is technically a, a hat that attaches right on top in this little HDMI adapter. You can easily attach stuff to these as well, and they have different hats, LED stuff, sensors, whatever. And then you run the operating system and you can easily program them with Python or anything like that.
Here we have the O-Droid. I went ahead and got the XG4, which is one of the most powerful O-Droids that they have on the market. It's an octo-core, which means eight core processor. Your Raspberry Pi is a quad-core processor. Now it works in a similar. You can get an SD card, download, operating system, pop it in, and get running and up and going. And you have a lot more processing power. So the Odroid has what's known as the EMMC module, which you can use instead of an SD card. You simply switch your switch down here over to MMC or SD mode, depending on what you want to use. It just clips onto the back here, just like that. You set it to EMMC, and then you boot it up just like normal. And you can write to these just like you can SD cards, so the process is pretty simple. Wrap this up. We've got the Arduino, great way to get started with electronics and coding. Um, if you're real unfamiliar with code, this is a great way to start. Now the Raspberry Pi is great for medium, intermediate, uh, level enthusiasts. This is definitely the most popular, you know, if you, if you think you can take it on, it's a great place to start as well. You know, the Arduino is about 10 bucks cheaper, so maybe you just want to spend 10 bucks and go to the Raspberry Pi. Since the Raspberry Pis can program Arduinos as well, that's a really cool thing. So it's definitely the winner in this contest. The Odroid, still a lot of testing to do. I'm pretty happy with it so far, but it definitely is not as easy to use because it doesn't have as big of a community like the Raspberry Pi does.